Previously on Magnum Opus. You here visiting Covenant, pal? If not, move along. We don't just let anyone inside. There's an entrance test. We call it the safe test. No one's ever answered quite like you. But hey, you passed. I'll open up the gate. You know anything about Stockton's caravan? I signed on with old man Stockton to find his lost caravan. What's left of it is just outside of town. The last stop was here, so I've been trying to put together the story. Help me find Stockton's people, and we split the reward. They took the survivors to a compound. And we're in business. I'll meet you there, and we'll rescue ourselves some caravan hands. It's no secret you've been poking around. Maybe you heard a rumor about Stockton's caravan and a certain compound? You just stop this investigation, and I'll give you a gift. You can keep your caps. Please, just leave well enough alone. There's more going on than you realize. My life's work on the verge of ruin, all because of your efforts to find Stockton's supposed daughter. You do know she's most likely a synth, yes? Stockton's daughter is a synth? Why else do you think we attacked her caravan? As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths. A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. Continue your work then. What else could we do? I wish you hadn't said that. Agent, tasteful business. First, the loose. <laughs> If I am to advance my understanding of medicine in this strange world, I must embark on a great adventure. I must become human, or as close as I can. I must find a way to download all that I am into a human brain. If you find someone, a brain surgeon, an artificial intelligence programmer, or someone who is an expert in matters of the head, please bring me to them. Curie has a lot of pre-war research data. But she can't continue her work as a robot. Why not? There are fundamental limitations in my robotic systems. It's an interesting problem. The memories wouldn't be hard. Her personality, though. All the extra pieces of robotic program decision-making. A normal organic brain wouldn't know what to do with them. A synth brain, on the other hand. Give me a day to get in contact with them. You're not here to perform some kind of revenge killing. Or something, are you? You know, because I gave up Jake. Oh man, I didn't want to. It was the Gunners, man. Burst in, demanding I tell them who I'd been selling info to. I told them what they wanted to know. I told the Gunners about Jake. I've no idea where they might have taken him. I did overhear him mention a place. Malden Middle School. But there's nothing there. The Gunners snatched Jake. Yeah, that makes sense. That information broker, he mentioned Malden Middle School. I happen to know there's a vault hidden under those ruins, one that's under gunner control. So I say, we break into that vault, take down the gunner's station there, and maybe find your partner. Let's get to work. Good. I'll meet you near the school. Don't be long. Hey guys, Lively here. Welcome back to our Magnum Opus version 7 run. It's a mod list I make that's available exclusively here on Lava Jack. We are picking up right where we left off, picking up Carnea Sidus Chemstash, and then we will carry on with some more SS2 stuff, I think. So let's just jump right in. You're the one that charged in, Heather. You have to deal with the consequences of your actions. I, mean, I just remembered that I got that MP5 the other day. 
Let's put you on three. See how you work out. I am over encumbered. Let's, hey. 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 Let's do it. Let's have some garbage. There's Carnay's chem stash. Oh my god. Why do I loot so hey. much? Mm -hmm. I hate this menu. Help yourself. There we go. That should mitigate our weight problems for a little while. Okay, so we got Carne Stash. Need to go meet Aiden. Alright, let's just turn this in real quick, just so I don't forget. can stay right here till I'm ready for you, buddy. Okay, so next up, let's go ahead and meet Aiden. And when we're done with that, I imagine Kiri will be ready for us. So we need to head to Malden Center. We'll just go to Taffington. Ooh, level up. Oh, that's a lot of bugs. Nice. Well, it's surprisingly well, I think. This MP5 is pretty good for a little crowd control. And we can make some blood bug steaks later. Delicious. Mutants. Oh, and sense and a bio crawler. Oh, hey. <laughs> you are so weak. That hurt. Sneaky devil. No, don't come over here. I want nothing to do with you. So that's an Institute Biomass Collector. They're pretty tanky. Would not recommend getting near them just yet. I could probably kill it, but it would also probably take all of my ammo. So I'm not really willing to do that right now. The synths over there. Alright, let's uh, try to quietly make our way over to Aiden. I think the mutants are all dead, so that's a bonus. 
I done got myself stuck. Alright, I don't see him. I think we're good. Hello. Good. You're here. I've done my best to lay low. The longer we stay out here, the more likely we'll tip off the gunners that something's about to go down. So, you ready to do this? Once we get in, what's the plan? Work our way through the vault, see if we can find any signs of your partner. Anything to report? Only seen minimal gunner activity. I don't think they suspect anything. Ready. It's... It's been a while since I operated as part of a team. Someone needs to act as the commanding officer, and I guess that's you. So, how do you want to do this? What's your plan? Shouldn't we try to avoid killing anyone? That's up to you. Personally, I'd be happy to slaughter every gunner we come across. But if we give ourselves away too soon, cause too much chaos too quickly, we might just get ourselves killed. Let's try to keep this civil. Caution and discretion. Understood. Let's move out. Let's move out. <laughs> I probably should have emptied my inventory first. Eh, we'll be alright. What's the worst that could happen? Get this party started. Whoa there, hold it. You're a new conscript, right? You're late. Hey, you look familiar. You've been assigned here before? No, sir. First time here. Classic Heather has to be the center of attention. That's right. I'm one of the new recruits. You sure don't talk like new conscripts. You don't even have your markings yet. No, something's wrong here. You're no recruits. Wait, I recognize you. Yeah, I saw you in Diamond City. Oh, I see. It's all falling into place now. You're here for that guy we captured. You must be his partner, the one he wouldn't shut up about. Well, sorry to disappoint, but you'll have to leave empty-handed. That guy stays here. Orders of Captain Algernon. Where is Jake? He's somewhere safe. That's all you need to know. I guess I'm just going to fail every speech check today. Uh, this first option costs, I think it's a thousand caps. So that's a bit excessive. So I'm just going to tell him to piss off. Screw you then. Oh. I give oh. up. Well, thanks, you guys. Win. Look, uh, you're here for the guy we captured, right? I'll tell you what you want to know. Just. Just don't kill me. How did you find us? That hub device you had, it really did a number on our comms. Our leader, Wes, became determined to track it down and bring in whoever was responsible. But Captain Algernon had other ideas. He tasked me in an effort to find the device before Wes, bring it and its owner to him instead. We followed a lot of leads, but we finally struck gold with an information broker. He told us everything we needed to know. Where is he? The guy we took? Lower levels. Captain Algernon has him in the old overseer's office. But it won't be easy to get down there. Algernon's got security and high alert. Movements limited. A lot of doors locked. This device, where is it? I helped secure that computer thing, but Berman was tasked with transporting it. Sorry, but I've got no idea where it is now. I was busy moving your partner back here. Is there any way to get past all the security? You'll need the right access cards to override the security locks. Check around the vault for the right cards. But don't expect the gunners down there to make the task simple. 
Well, at least I passed one speech check today. That's all I needed to know. All right, good. Now, if it's all the same to you, I'm out of here. I mean, we could try to pass another hard one. You need to stop working for the enemy and come work with us. Thanks, but no. Damn. Thanks. Oh well. Now, was there anything else? Get out of my sight. Gladly. I get the feeling things are about to take a left turn around here, so I'm gonna take my leave while I still can. Best of luck. See you later, wise. So normally, if you pass that first speech check, um, he will take all your stuff and deposit it into a footlocker right here, and then give you a gunner uniform. Oh, sorry, this chest here. Um, but then give you a uniform when you come in, and honestly, I think that's how I've done this quest every time, other than running in and shooting everyone. So I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna go. Wonder what Vault Tech got up to in this one. Where the hell is she? No oh, shit. So, I don't know if, like, this guy's going to be outright hostile or what, so we'll just play it by ear. More mercs. Wise let you pass? Okay, good enough for me. Let me get the elevator for you. Thanks. I'm going to steal all your stuff in the meantime. Excuse me. Move along. Okay. I need you to get out of the way. <sighs> I'll wait. Dude! Tick, tick, tickety, man. What the? Sorry, I am impatient. Alright, so this might go very poorly. There's a lot of people down here, which means a lot of guns trained on me. This is Captain Algernon. The base is to remain on semi-lockdown. Stay on high alert. Movement between levels will be restricted until further notice. Whilst our guest is in our custody, these conditions will continue to remain in effect. That is all. Let's work our way down and look for signs of your partner along the way. Okay. Sounds like a plan. A lot of these lockers tend to have pretty good loot. Lots of ammo and stuff. So. Oh, and this is what I was talking about with the random junk redux thing. The teddy bears on the table. That's why I need to remove that mod. I don't think I've ever seen a gold shot glass before. But anyway, moving on. Hello. This is where I need to be. I have to find the card. has got to be in the vault somewhere. Yeah, I know where the cards are. It's fine. This place is pretty big, kind of confusing, so I'll do my best. I'll we'll probably be here a little while. Ah, oh, jeez. Think we're good? It's a lot of dead gunners already, and we're only in the second room here. Ooh, triple threat shotgun. It's a triple barrel, but it's extremely close range, so I'm probably not going to use it. But it's a cool gun. Hey! You are really pissing me off. You did good. Thanks, guys. Just trying to steal stuff and getting shot.
Where is... Where'd Heather go? She just abandoned me. Oh well. Oh, hey. Hey. Hmm? Just carry everything. Actually, I kind of forgot I picked this stuff up. But let's wear the B90 stuff. Because not only does it look cool, but it'll give me better armor. Check that out. That's pretty sweet. You gotta remember, normally people come in here and they won't have any guns or equipment, so there tends to be a fair amount of loot in here. God knows I need it. Another one I can't access. Who? Super on edge right now, so sorry if I'm a little jittery. I'm on him. Try real hard not to die. I get the feeling somebody's behind me. What? Are you shooting through the wall? That's not fair. So the first key card we need is up here. Oh, hey. Looks like that's the card we need. You've done surprisingly well so far. You know, I didn't actually think. Ah, uh, never mind. We should keep moving. Oh, come on now. If you have something to say, I'm listening. Forget it. There's nothing. Let's move. God, my speech is terrible. Do I have perk points? I do. Let's get myself some charisma, because this is miserable. Alright, moving on. So, I should be able to just follow my trail of bodies here. Find the door. But uh, if you know me, you know I really like passing speech checks. So I just, I really like having high charisma all the time. Looks like we're gonna have some company. Alright. Um, let's, uh. Let's get our skitter buddy in here. Nice. And. Pulse, and I think we should also take some drugs. Oh, 
Okay, where'd the rest of them go? There you are. Oh, damn. Oh my god, I missed. I feel like I miss every crit nowadays. Yeah, I'll take all that. Why not? Did my skitter buddy make it through all right? Hell yeah! Alright, so we need another key card. Awfully quiet up here. I guess we're alone. Aw oh, yeah, get one extra guess when hacking terminals. Sorry I didn't mean to hit E and close that so quickly, I just know what it does. Look so sleepy. Oh, I was kind of hoping to throw him out the window. I guess he's a little clipped into the wall there. Whatever. I shouldn't be screwing around so much anyway. Okay. Let's head back to that door. Which was that way, I think. Chief Scientist Terminal. Prime Directive. Chief Scientist, welcome to Vault 75. As outlined in your confidential briefing packet, Vault 75 is part of a top secret military program. You've been selected for your professional credentials, experience, and commitment to the improvement of the human genome. It is of the utmost importance that you follow the protocols herein. The mission of Vault 75, above all, is the refinement of human genetics. Your scientific staff will operate according to the research schedule set forth by Schlett, Braun, and Lamb. You'll be working with an overseer with a background as a military officer. Your overseer will be responsible for training and maintaining the subject population you'll be working with. It is important that you and your overseer maintain a healthy working relationship. Experimental Abstract Vault 75 represents an unprecedented opportunity to test our hypothesis that the human genome can be improved at a rapid rate through the combination of selective breeding, hormonal treatments, genetic modification, and an accelerated generational cycle. The experimental objectives of Vault 75 are detailed in the handbooks which have been provided to you already. This experiment is intended to be carried out over multiple generations. As such, there may be unanticipated research opportunities that present themselves. 
Such diversions from provisional protocol are permitted at the discretion of the chief scientist. Staff replenishment. Because Vault 75 represents a long-term experiment in a closed environment, it will become important to replenish staff periodically. This shall be done by selective recruitment of outgoing subjects. We anticipate a certain percentage of resident population to exhibit high intellect scores, but insufficient physical capabilities to be qualified for genomic harvesting. These subjects may be, at overseer and chief scientist discretion, offered the opportunity to join staff. Those who refuse should be disposed of in the same manner as unqualified outgoing subjects. Please note that all internally recruited staff should be kept strictly separate from general population for at least 15 years, to prevent members of the general population recognizing former residents among the staff. Only the most trusted and capable staff members should be admitted to the genomics laboratory. It is the responsibility of the chief scientist to very carefully choose these staff members and ensure they are sufficiently trained for their roles. Genetic Harvesting Protocol Outgoing subjects aged 18 years with aggregate scoring of superior or excellent across key physical, mental, social traits must be escorted to the genomics laboratory. Processing should be done on an individual basis and with great care. Remember that successful subjects will likely be capable of overpowering staff. Reiterate to the subject that a brief round of vaccinations is necessary and avoid arousing any suspicions otherwise. Each subject should have a file for processing which indicates which specific organic material needs to be preserved for future testing. Be sure that these directions are strictly adhered to and that specimens are stored quickly. Genomics Reports Genome Donors Overall harvest was exceptional this year. Lots of superior ratings in the physical categories. Many of our vital organ initiatives are paying dividends. Pain thresholds have been a mostly solved problem for years now, and we're finally getting past issues like cardiac arrest under heavy duress. The genetic material we're gaining this year should help the next generation meet goals we thought were still a decade or more off. Some concerns about aggression levels. We've had a few cases of psychological breakdowns due to stress over the years, but incidence was much higher in this group. Going to recommend we synthesize some new tranquilizers just to sock up. Food supply remains best delivery method for general population, but should be concerned about future with science staff too. Recruitment Only needed one recruit to scientific staff this year, with Washington joining the genetics team to help me out up here. Subject's physical scores were very low, and he has consistently shown good problem solving and critical thinking. Overseer has concerns about his attachment to some of the younger members of the population. I'm not too worried. His psychological profile shows that he's very suggestible. We'll keep him on the observation deck long enough for those he had personal relationships with to graduate out of the population. That gives us some time to acclimate him to the experimental protocols without conflict. We just need to keep him in the dark until then. Disposed. We had very low disposal overhead thanks to the excellent harvest ratio this year, just 74% of the overall graduating class. Incinerations will be done within the week. Good first task for Washington before we begin the real work. Archived records. Error, archive corrupt. Please refer to hard copies. Manual re-entry recommended. So, I'm starting to get a, uh, an idea of what Vault 75 does here, obviously. They, uh, they're basically breeding super soldiers, essentially. Let's see. Next graduation logs. Scott Williams. And uh, you can see they have rankings for their you know, muscular strength, cardiovascular, physical, hand-eye, blah, blah, blah. And this just tells them um, what they're going to do with all these subjects, whether they're going to you know, euthanize and incinerate them or harvest their organs and genetics and breed new people with them or just uh, bring them into the science staff. So these are all pretty cool. Uh, it kind of gives you a uh, sort of a connection to the people that used to live here. But, uh, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty disgusting thing. But anyway, staff reminder. Reminder staff, please ensure correct terminology is used when filling out subject evaluations. If in doubt, refer to the established research guideline booklet or consult the included cheat sheet. Superior, top 5%. Excellent, 5 to 20. Commendable, 20 to 50. Adequate, 50 to 80. Lackluster, 80 to 95. And pathetic is the bottom 5%. Flawless, no genetic abnormalities whatsoever, negligible, minor or benign genetic abnormalities, and impaired, significant genetic abnormalities. Mm, blah, 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 thank you. You can read all this on your own if you want. I think you get the gist. Pete, I got those estimates you were looking for. Gotta say, it's looking grim. We knew they were after effects and treatments, but damn, we'll be lucky to make 30. Using the genetic guidelines assigned to subjects, the breakdown looks something like this. 
and it gives uh, life expectancies depending on their their gen- genomic harvests and whatnot. But it seems like the average is about thirty. But yeah. So keep in mind, these results are pulled from death certificates of the staff. Obviously, all other subjects are terminated at 18, regardless of genetic condition. Still, I don't think there would be much difference, even if we had their numbers. The human body just isn't designed to deal with what we're asking of it. What are we going to do? You see, with their genome breeding and harvesting, they have significantly reduced their life expectancy down to roughly 30. On average. So that's unfortunate. That's enough. What's going on here? I gave permission to question him, not to tie him up and beat him senseless. I don't need your permission, old man. I got commands directly from Captain Wes. Last I checked, he was the one leading the gunners now. I'm gonna ask nicely one more time. That computer thing we found in your store, what is it? Some kind of Radio machine? Can we use it to boost our comms? That's not what it's designed to do. I didn't uh. ask what it was designed to do. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? You could have fucking killed me. I said enough. Wes may lead the gunners, but here, I'm in charge. And this is my prisoner. But Wes ordered me to- Don't talk to me about orders, Berman. You broke the chain of command defied my orders. That comm computer was meant to be brought here with the prisoner. I was just- You're dismissed, Corporal. You can't talk to me like- Dismissed. Uh, you'll regret this, old man. I'm sorry about that, Evans. You hurt badly. Right. Let me see if I can find some medics or something. This is my chance. Jake! I'm here to rescue you! Darling! Oh, am I glad to see you! What? You know these people? They friends of yours? This is my partner. The one I told you about. And the other one is... Well... Someone I didn't expect to see again. Aiden McTavish, ex-Minute Man. How'd you get past security? What happened to the man stationed outside? It was them or us. Sorry, but your ranks are a little thinner now. Hey, uh, Algernon, right? Look, we never meant to interfere with the Gunners. This is all a big misunderstanding. There's no reason for this to escalate any further. So just... Just let me go, okay? We can all just walk away from this. I went to great lengths to bring you here. I can't let you go, nor your friends. Not until we've had the chance to speak. You want to talk? Let's talk. Thank you. I'll explain everything. You see, the Gunners, we're under the command of a man named Wes. And currently, Wes has us contracted with some unnamed benefactor. By following the directions of this mysterious employer, we've become very powerful. But they've pushed us down some questionable avenues, forced us to compromise old traditions and values. Who is they? I don't know. Only Captain West has been privy to who they really are. But we've been working for them for many years. The gunners you see today are mostly a result of their influence. What kind of compromises? Honor, integrity, leniency. Believe it or not, these were once values held highly by every gunner. We followed a strict code of ethics. But now, we're more concerned with expansion and control. If you need an example to where that's led us, you need only look to Quincy. Please, go on. With our employer's backing, the gunners have become a force to be reckoned with. We've captured a lot of territory, extended our reach far. But there's always been a hard limit to how much we can actually hold and control. Because you lacked reliable communications. That's what held you back, isn't it? That's what this is all about. That's right. And now the gunners have their hands on the comm hub. 
I'm going to remove your restraints. Hold still. Yeah. I have to have some circulation in my hands again. Good, you're free. Now let's kill this gunner trash and get out of here. Wait, no, just hold on a minute. No? What do you mean, no? Darling, I need you to trust me here. Don't start a fight with this guy. Let's just listen to what he has to say. Please. Only because you're so handsome. All right, I'll hear him out. You're making the right call. So, Algernon, if you don't mind my asking, what exactly do the gunners want with the com hub? You already figured it out. Better communications. With something like your hub, the gunners would be virtually unstoppable. But you're a gunner too, right? Why would you want to stop that? Not all gunners agree with the path we've taken. Some of us have tried to push back. But West refuses to listen. The best I've been able to do is slow him down. What are you getting at? Oh, I... I think I'm starting to understand. That's why you ordered your men to bring me and the comm up here. To slow West down. Right. But I was betrayed. Whilst Wise was bringing you here, Berman delivered the hub to Wes instead. That's a shocker. Guess things didn't exactly go as you planned. You have any idea where Berman might have taken the hub? Most likely to a hidden safe house. But I don't know which. All I do know is that it's only a matter of time before Wes learns how to use your hub. And once he does, the entire Commonwealth will be vulnerable to gunner conquest. I don't want to see that happen. So, I'm going to help you find your hub and get it back. Why should I trust you? The last thing I want to see is a subjugated Commonwealth, especially at the hands of the gunners. If I could, I'd attempt to reform them. But current circumstances dictate a more direct course of action. I'll do what I have to, even if it means turning on Wes. You help me, and I'll help you. I'll reach out to those I trust within the Gunners. Some may know where Berman is hiding your hub. I'll need to act fast. Wes was already suspicious. After this, I doubt I'll hold my position for long. Wait, b before you go, how will we know when you find something out? As soon as I know anything, I'll be in contact. But in the meantime, you should return to Concord. I sent one of my people back there, a technician. Find her and give her these orders. She'll help you. I'm sorry we had to meet like this, but I hope you can understand why. You'll hear from me again soon. Looking forward well, to it. Gotta say, you sure are a sight for sore eyes. How'd you even find me? After I got grabbed, I figured... Well, never mind what I figured. Thanks for coming to get me. It means a lot. Well, we're gonna go for a speech check. You mean a lot to me, too. Oh, I, I didn't quite mean like Hell that. Hell yeah! But, uh, uh, thanks. <clears throat> All right. You. What are you even doing here? Decided to come blame me for even more things the Gunners have done? Well, since you brought it up, I guess you could be blamed for giving the comm hub to the gunners. Give? They... they took it! What, why would you even... You are one aggravating little... Mm. If that guy hadn't stolen my gun, I'd... You don't need to get so worked up over things. Well, my work here is done. I'm gonna shadow our new friend. Call me crazy, but I'm not about to take the good Captain Algernon at his word. I'll check in with you once I have anything. See you two later. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Is that Aiden guy helping us now? I think so. I'm not sure. Well, this day just gets better and better, don't it? Come on, let's head back to the hardware store. Clear out any gunners still there. I'm gonna need a new weapon. Ah, this should be nice, huh? All right, let's get going. Hell yeah, brother. So 
we do have something new here, which is this vault net terminal. That's from Can't chapter three, and I can't hack it unfortunately. But these just, uh, but these just uh, start hinting at things that are in chapter three if you're able to get into it and read them. Operations protocol manual, resident admittance. Personnel officers are responsible for admitting residents and obeying standard protocol for sanitization and scans. Research staff is to assist as needed, but otherwise remain in their wing. Adults aged 17 and older will be isolated and disposed of by the head of security. Children under the age of 17 are to be taken directly to the atrium area. As overseer, you are responsible for introducing the children to the caretaker robots and their sleeping facilities. Research protocols will not begin until the second week of containment. It is recommended that you participate directly in routine story times each evening. Family Policy Vault 75 has been built within the township of Malden, and all families with children aged 5 to 16 have been offered subsidized admittance to the vault program here. This should maximize the number of residents able to report for admittance in a crisis event. In the event that it becomes necessary, it is preferable to allow potential subjects to remain with their families in the bulkhead area over allowing adults to accompany subjects to the atrium. These subjects will not be admitted to the general population. Some distress is expected in the early days of internment. Please refer to vault Tech's Child Care Consolation Protocols, uh, Section 127.1, .1, if guidance is needed. Staff Duties Personnel and security staff have been assigned to Vault 75 and provided with standard instructions as found in your operations manual. Research personnel are to remain in their designated wing and isolated from making physical contact with residents except under special circumstances. New research personnel may be selected annually from the vault population at overseer discretion. Residents are to be informed that these persons have vacated the vault. Overseer Directives 1. Residents aged 18 or older must be removed from the general population annually. 2. Residents who have exhibited genetic promise are to be preserved for genome harvesting and reintegration. 3. Residents of average genetic promise but high intelligence and docility may be recruited to the research staff at overseer discretion. 4. All other residents to be removed must be called. 5. Research staff is responsible for cultivating embryo replacements to maintain consistent resident population numbers. 6. Vault 75 is to remain sealed until an all-clear order is issued by vault Tech. Annual Turnover Protocol Beginning one year after initial containment, children over the age of 18 must be removed from the general population. This will be done annually on a date specified by the Overseer and Chief Scientist. It is recommended that this, quote, graduation be treated as an important tradition inside Vault 75. Appropriate ceremonies should be conceived of and performed by overseer staff, with outgoing subjects being removed one by one from the main living area. Once separated from the general population, subjects with aggregate ratings of excellent and superior are to be escorted to the genomics laboratory for processing. Subjects with excellent and superior intellect ratings, but not aggregate, will be offered positions as overseer of research staff per discretion of the overseer and chief scientist. All other subjects should be disposed of as outlined in the confidential operations packet. Overseer's Log New Researcher Worried about the new recruit in science. He's supposed to be on simple observation duties and closely monitored until the subjects he knows in population have been processed. I know we've done this many, many times before, but something about this one feels wrong. Not sure I should have let myself be talked into it. Nursery Capacity Issues we're having a capacity problem in the nursery. We're as full as can be in the IVFS, but introducing more residents to the population is going to be problematic. I'd prefer to wait until this next turnover. We'll have to discuss with Chief Scientist. Fire in Archives. Damn it all. Some kind of wiring issue caused a fire in the archive. We lost some hardware that I'm told will be difficult to repair, if not impossible. Science lost a lot of the historical research data, though I'm told we can get some junior staff started transcribing hard copies. Some of the locks failed once the fire got bad. Worrying, but turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Science staff nearby got in and stopped the blaze quickly. If the locks hadn't failed, then myself or one of the senior scientists would have had to manually open the doors. Vault 75 status. Uh, genome preservation online, research error, genetic grade, blah blah blah. Yeah, nothing to really read here. All right, Jake. Let's make like a tree and get the hell out of here. Ooh. Perfect. 
Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus 5% damage. Well, at least everybody's dead, so leaving should be easier than when I was coming in. So that's a bonus. That is, if I can remember the way out, <laughs> which I don't. So this might take a minute. I'm um, pretty sure it's not this way. Let's try this way. I don't think that's right either. That's where we found Jay. This is it. Aha! Uh -huh. I made it. I made it, everybody. I made it. I'm sure they'll catch up. I thought they would teleport into the elevator with me, but I guess not. Oh, steps. There they are. Okay. Free at last. So now, we have to return to Concord. Which... is a little bit of a hike. So... Phew. Oh, and uh, you can see they took that map marker away because something's gonna happen when we get there. So, I'm gonna travel to Starlight, and then I'll walk to Concord from there so we can kind of see it as it unfolds. I know that song too, Heaven. It's a banger. Uh, this parking lot here can have... Yeah, I know. This parking lot can have uh, a random event spawn, so... We'll see if we get anything today. Is there gonna be a bear? Sometimes if you get the random dead settler, then there's a Yaogwai nearby. Not today, I guess. I hear voices. Oh, Caleb. We'll talk to him in a minute. No matter how good a time we might have together. Hey, hey, keep your voice down. Don't be embarrassed. You just did what you had to, and I can respect that. Oh, damn it. Townsfolks must have come back from the salvage run only to find the gunners here instead of me. Why didn't they just run away? We can't let the gunners hurt these people. We got his son. Have any ideas? I don't know. But whatever we decide, we should do it fast. Let's try to keep this civil. You're right. Maybe we could get these guys to leave without any bloodshed. Yeah, because that went so well for me last time, right? Let's just get ready. Just in case. Hold it. We aren't expecting reinforcements. Who are you? And what are you doing here? What are you guys doing out here? Gunner business. You? Yeah. <laughs> you should just leave now. Uh, why? Something going on? Who are you? Oh, Jesus! Somebody open fire. Oh man. I am hurting bad. That's the last of 
Let's go check out the hardware store. His gun sound is bugged. Do you hear that? It's funny. Shot to hell. Oh, I bet it was that big guy that did it. Berman. Ooh, if I ever get my hands on him. I'm sorry about all this. Well, thanks, but it's the gunners who should be sorry. Hey, the lights are flickering. Someone's trying to get the power back on. The plutonium well. There must be gunners down there. All right, let's head down into the service tunnels. Deal with the remaining gunners. I could worry about cleaning this place up later. Hang on. Just gonna grab another weapon. I wanna see if the sound stops when he uh puts this down. down there. Okay. Let's no. Go. Okay. Maybe I'll cell change. If not, I'll just have to save and load the game. That would fix it. But I I like seeing what happens when I do different things. Where am I going? I'm going the complete wrong way. I'm just so used to wandering. Careful now. I see gunners ahead. How do you see gunners already? Who? Oh! Hit the railing. <laughs> oh, what a terrible throw. Shield. How are you down already? Where'd shield guy go? I thought he was going to be coming up. Dude, I know you're down here. Oh, I see you. Damn. There we go. Kneecapped. Little punk bitch. Two down. It's a pretty good volley. Oh no. Hey. Carry more things for me. Oh, she can't carry anymore. Yeah. Okay. Um. Stop carrying so many things, me. I really just pick all these up so that I can scrap them later and get the ammo out of them, so I don't actually need any of this stuff. Or want it. That'll do. Freed up about 60 pounds. Huh? Two for. Well, that's not a sound I want to hear. You got a gutsy head. Last Through the shield. No scope. Oh my god. Yeah, you guys take care of him. Thank you.
Man, those gutsies hurt. There's somebody upstairs. You just barely see movement. Cool beans. Really like this pistol. It's serving me so well. Oh, where'd your head go? <laughs> Sucker. I can't fix anything else until I get the power back on. I recognize that voice. Lupe? Jacob? What, what are you doing here? That's a rich question coming from you. I thought you'd been killed in the Quincy Massacre. And what's with the gunner uniform? Want to fill me in? Um, well, I kind of joined the gunners. Well, actually, not so much joined as forcibly conscripted at gunpoint. But hey, I get three clean meals a day, and my boss is pretty nice. At least as far as gunners go. I guess that answers that. I'm sorry if any of those gunners we just took down were friends of yours. But what are you doing down here? Why are you messing around with the plutonium well? Because it was broken. I'm a gunner technician now, so fixing things kind of goes along with the job. Technician? Say, that boss you mentioned, he wouldn't happen to be called Algernon, would he? Yeah, that's him. You've met him? Before I answer, will you tell me who you are? Oh, sure. I'm Lupe, private ring technician. I build things. Or fix them, or make stuff work better. I'm pretty good at all three. I think that's why the gunners conscripted me, and why Captain Algernon put me under his command. He needed someone to maintain his armor. So, um, you know the captain? What do you know about him? Algernon? Um, he's nice. You know, as far as gunners go. He seems more... respectable than the rest. Maybe it's because he's so old. So, you know him? That's ageist. Yeah. Something like that. It's a long story, but I guess we're sort of... Allies now? Or something? Man, that's weird to say. Actually, he gave us some orders to pass on, if we found a technician here. Which I suppose would be you. So, um, here. Huh. It says... I'm free to operate under my own discretion. As long as I help you, I've been given a leave of absence. Hmm. Neat. Well now, that's great. We need all the help we can get. And it'd be good to have another skilled tech around. Welcome aboard. Nice to meet you. Oh, likewise. Well, with that, I'd say we've secured Concord. Maybe it'll be smart to build some defenses. You know, in case the gunners come back. Oh, I can help with that. Sure thing. Hey, I can show you how to do it using ASAMs. You mean those sensor things? You actually got them working? Huh. I gotta check this out. What sort of defenses did you have in mind? Whatever the ASAMs can give us. Huh, although with the hub gone, I'm not sure we'd still be able to build martial plots. Maybe I could figure out a workaround. Mirror the new firmware from an ASAM that's already updated. As good a plan as any. For now, I guess we'll just have to secure things as best we can and wait to hear back from Algernon. Assuming he really is on our side, hopefully we won't have to wait long. I'll also check in with our settlements. Without the hub, I'll have to do things the old-fashioned way. I'll be relying on my ham radio and a big old notepad for a while. But it's better than nothing. All right, time to get to work. Stay safe out there. And thanks again for coming to get me. You're a real friend. 
just a friend? After everything I've done for you? Alright, so I'm going to make the cut here for today. I feel like we got a lot out of the way with the uh, some Settlements 2 storyline here. Tackled a vault, killed a lot of gunners, got a, new, uh, got a new partner in the form of Lupe. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, I hope you did. Uh, thank you to all my patron donors. Uh, your support means more to me than you could ever possibly know, and I will see you all next time.